What's going on? Sean here, welcome to another video. In today's video, I wanna talk a little bit about your heritage. Have you ever wondered where you actually came from? What you actually are? Where your family originates from? And what your story is? Me too. So I decided to take a DNA test. Turns out I'm a hundred percent dead. On a serious note, I decided to take a DNA test through Ancestry.com and discover what my actual heritage is because I've always kind of questioned it growing up and I wasn't really a hundred percent sure what I actually was and what the actual breakdown of my heritage was. If you're returning or new, I appreciate you checking it out. And thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe, you smash that like button, and before we get into the video, let me know what you think my heritage is. Like before you even skip ahead and see what the actual results are, just leave me a comment below and what do you think I am, and let's see if you're surprised when I release the results. So again, if you are new, I make videos twice a week teaching you all about financial freedom, fitness, film, and fashion, and all other types of cool stuff. So again, consider subscribing. So growing up, I always thought I was just a 50-50 split. Half Irish, half Italian, typical dude from Boston. You know, Irish and Italian mix. My dad was Irish, my mom was Italian. It's a hell of a mix. And uh, I always thought that, you know, I was more connected to my Italian side because I looked like my mom for the most part. And I don't really have any of my dad's uh, physical traits. And what I mean by that is, He's got really fair hair. He actually had red hair that's really turned brown and now sort of gray in his old age. He had red hair, turned brown, and um, my mom has really, really dark brown hair. And my grandmother on my mom's side had jet black hair, just like me. I've always had, obviously, really dark and Mediterranean style features, as you can see. Um, but the one thing I do have from my dad is that I do get some red hairs in my beard in the summertime and sometimes if I'm in the sun long enough during the summer I can get a little uh, auburn tint in my hair it lightens up just a hair but uh, for the most part uh, really dark Mediterranean you know I got hair on this chest say which chest it's just you know I, I just always kind of associated with my Italian heritage more than my Irish now that I'm not proud of my Irish heritage I love the fact that you know my dad's family came from Ireland uh, and that, you know, I am a mix of things. So again, growing up, you know, I was always told, you know, I'm half Irish, half Italian, and then one day, my mom let it slip that we have some English in us. And I thought to myself, damn, well, okay, I can't be 50-50 then. I must have some English. And, you know, not looking like my dad, not that I didn't believe he wasn't my dad, but I always thought, you know, maybe I'm inheriting something else that we don't know about because, again, for the most part, I do look like my mom, but if you put a picture of me and my mom side by side, you can definitely tell I'm her son. However, we have slightly different noses and, and just there's just something slightly different. My sister actually looks a lot more like my mom than I do. Not Again, not saying that I don't look like my mom. I definitely do but there was just something else that I just felt like I was missing. So I used Ancestry.com's DNA kit, and if you think that I should use 23andMe, maybe I'll make another video on this and just compare the results. Um, but here's what I found, and the results left me floored because I never saw this coming. I was hoping that I would be a little more culturally diverse. However, I'm a pretty plain Jane. I found out that I was 51% English. Over half my DNA is from England, the UK. That just absolutely floored me because again, I always associated more with my Italian heritage, so I always felt closer to that. I was like, I must be more Italian than Irish. Look at me, I look like a Ginzo. So I also found out I was 40% Irish, which I was assuming, I mean, Read my name, Sean Lunny. It doesn't get more Irish than that. My first name is the Gaelic spelling of Sean, uh, and obviously my last name is an Irish last name, it's Lunny. So I knew that I was gonna have a bulk being Irish, so that didn't really surprise me. What did surprise me was I was only 9% Italian. Only 9% of my DNA comes from my Italian heritage, which is pretty surprising, because again, if you look at me, I think I look like a, a stereotypical Italian guy or someone who bears Mediterranean 
features a lot of people that I meet say, oh, you must be black Irish, so I thought maybe I might have some Spanish in me, but I don't. Uh, that being said, I am more English than anything, which is just, it absolutely shocked me, and I almost felt lied to my entire life, not to say that, you know, my, um, my family was lying to me or anything, but it's just, you know, so surprising. So, uh, I found out a lot, a lot of cool stories. I actually ended up meeting a genealogist who uh, has traced me being a descendant of one of the Mayflower passengers, which is crazy because if you think about it, the passengers on the Mayflower who settled this country are really the closest thing that America has to royalty, right? Uh, so that's wild. That's a story for another video. If you do want me to make a video on you know, my heritage and uh, who I'm actually related to from the Mayflower. He actually has a wild story and I have other, you know, ancestors I found out about and I found awesome, like, cool little tidbits and stories that I'd love to share with you as long as you want to see them. So if you want me to make a video on that, let me know. I'm more than happy to. But yeah, I, I was absolutely floored that, you know, I was only 9% Italian and, and I was of all things, more English than anything at all. So I definitely advise you to at least do the DNA test. I mean, I would. You find out all these cool things. Lily and I both did it together, and it turns out she is like a person of the world. She had an awesome, awesome background. She's like a little bit of everything, and it's crazy, and I wanna bring her on. Maybe we'll do that in a part two. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you are finding me for the first time, I got the apparel on sale. I'm gonna link it down below. Make sure you pick up a hat. These tees have not dropped yet, but they will ASAP. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate you. I will check you next time, signing off.